Allora, questo è il volante di Felipe Massa. This is Felipe Massa's steering wheel. And I want to explain the main function of this steering wheel from 2010. It has been simplified compared to last year's steering wheel because there is no curse anymore. The drivers will have less work to do because there are many things to do regarding the curse which have been eliminated. There are some manettini or the control knobs. This one here in the middle is multifunction, responsible for the front wing setup, the gearbox, and the so called recoveries, which are used when we notice a problem with the car during the race. Poi ci sono altre funzioni che sono delle recovery. Le recovery sono delle funzioni che servono in caso noi vediamo qualche problema sulla vettura durante la gara. Il pilota può intervenire per aggiungere. The driver can regulate the car's setup to go further or adjust the car to finish the race. Il chilometro possibile o cercare di aggiustare in alcuni casi la vettura per poter finire la gara. A parte il multifunction abbiamo questi mantini, quello superiore. There is another knob, the pink one here cold mixer for regulating the petrol mixture according to the racing conditions. This is very important this year because we can't refuel anymore during the pit stop. So we have to start with a full tank and then during the race, according to different conditions, consume more or less fuel. The driver can change that here with the mixer. E quindi sposteremo, chiederemo al pilota di spostare il manettino del mix per consumare più o meno. Poi abbiamo il manettino grip, il manettino grip viene utilizzato in parte. There is the manettino grip, which is mainly used at the start, regulating the clutch position, the torque at the start, according to our calculations regarding the grip at the start. Calcoli che abbiamo e che ci dicono il grip che si trova in in partenza, noi regoliamo. We're trying to optimize the torque and therefore the performance at the start. La, la coppia e quindi la prestazione in partenza. Sull'altro lato abbiamo... Here is the front flap to regulate the front wing, important for the car's balance. We're asking the driver to position the switch, regulating the front wing, varying the position of the switch, changes the car's balance according to the fuel situation or the tires. Posteriore rispetto al posteriore, quindi variare il bilancio della macchina a seconda delle condizioni di benzina, di carico di benzina e alle condizioni delle, delle gomme. Gli altri due manettini più piccoli sotto sono uno è quello che si chiama The two smaller manettini are for the torque. The white one here which regulates the different engine management setups. E diversi settaggi. We use this in our telemetry to optimize the engine's performance. In in telemetria per cercare di ottimizzare le prestazioni della vettura curva curva per curva. Questo qua revs, quello rosso l'ultimo che è rimasto. This one, the red one, says revs. And as its name says, it regulates the engine's revs. We can regulate the engine in different stages of the race. For example, when we want to attack our competitors or defend ourselves to consume less fuel. There are some more buttons. This one here says L. It's the limiter. The drivers press it when they enter the pit lane. It's a speed limiter for the right speed in the pit lane. Ma soprattutto è quello che ci consente di avere una certa velocità determinata e di non di non cedere quella. Poi c'è il bottone N che è quello di neutral. There's the N button for neutral. For the car out of gear. The drink button so the drivers can drink. And then there are some other setups connected to the recovery. For example, the radio for communicating with us. There is the buy point, which helps us to understand the situation of the clutch at any moment. Pump inserts the oil in the engine in particular situations. For example, when the engine needs oil. There are two more manettini, these here, longitudinal. One is the differential in exit and in entry. These are setups we're asking the driver to optimize the car's balance 
corner after corner. There are some switches. Those here on the left are mainly used during the start, which is a difficult stage. We created some switches so that the driver can concentrate on a good performance at the start. This here is the burnout. This is used to heat up the tires before the start. Once the cars are on the grid, it's switched to start with some special setups to improve the performance at the start. The last switch here is wet, for having a setup on the wet track. The last two buttons are the over revs, for higher performance during overtaking, and the front flap to regulate the front flap corner after corner. The FIA allows four regulations per lap. There are levers for up and down shift, and two levers for the clutch, used to optimize the clutch. They can be used all the time, when the steering wheel is turned to the left or to the right. This is a synthesis of what we have on the steering wheel. During a season, we have infinite number of setups. After every test, we're checking the steering wheel. The one you can see here is Felipe Massa's. Fernando's is at least at this stage of the season is very similar because he's just arrived and he's developing his requests. So there are hardly any differences. Then there are also new rules and the curse is gone. So the steering wheels have been simplified. Usually the drivers ask for specific things on the steering wheel and we're starting to work on this. What we have here is Felipe's steering wheel in Jerez on this day. After the session, we have a briefing with our driver and he makes his requests. The number of steering wheels can reach from one, which has never happened so far, to many, according to the driver's needs. There were many drivers in the past who had many requests. We're always working on it with the drivers, also considering the shape of the hands. For example, the flap and the overrevs manettini are in this position for Fernando, while for Felipe, who has slimmer fingers, they are positioned here in the back to enable them both to move the manettini the best way possible. Other drivers might have problems when the manettini are in this position because their fingers are not that slim.